Ooh, what is this, guys? What is this? <laughs> Are the high beams on? Those are the high beams. Those are the DRLs. It's great for the door. This is James's Subaru, by the way. The GTI is gone. Oh, damn. Yeah, dude, they look good. They look so good. That changes the difference a lot. That changes the difference a lot? <laughs> <laughs> that makes a big difference. That changes it a lot. Alright guys, we are back with another video. Uh, someone in the Slowly But Surely production crew has a new car to show. It's me. I have a WRX now. I'm just kidding. James has a 2014 WRX hatchback and it is beautiful. What color is the purple called? Uh, plasma blue. Oh, it's a, I lied. It's not purple. It's called plasma blue. But it looks purple. But it is really cool. You've probably seen some like small little reveal pictures on our Instagram and Facebook. But um, today, since winter is coming, it's really hot. It is freaking hot today. But since winter is coming here in Michigan soon, we want to wrap it and protect this paint as well as possible. So the wrap we have is called Bahama Blue, right? Yep, Bahama Blue. Bahama Blue. Got it for Metro Restyling. We've had this wrap for like a year now, and we're just gonna wrap the Subaru and protect this paint. So uh, hopefully it comes out really well. Um, Jake is like a professional rapper now. But let's just take a look at this car. Sorry, I feel like the lighting's really rough, but that's okay. So we just recently wrapped the tail lights. Jake wrapped the tail lights on here. Support your uh, law enforcement. Got to have that. Sorry, you probably can't see too much of the color in this garage, but yeah, this is a gorgeous WRX. And these are ESR wheels. ESR has got like a huge selection of wheels. I I really like that company. And um, these are similar to the RPF ones. Of course, the 2016 YC250F. It has been a while since we've made a video, but I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses for why we've been gone. We're we too just, busy. Just, it is the truth, we're too busy. It's, gr it's grown up life now. So, but what parts of the car are we going to wrap today? Today we're gonna hopefully for sure do, hopefully for sure. We're gonna do the fenders. If we have time, we're gonna do the hatch. Because the hatch, it's a lot easier than the GTI. It's like just this down here. Just gotta take out this part to the tail light and the license plate, and we should be able to get everything. Solid. It's supposed to storm later today, but it is freaking hot out. It's insane. Try not to complain, but man, it is a hot day. Here is the wrap Bahama Blue. It is a really gorgeous color, actually. It's just kind of harder to see on camera. But yeah, we got this so long ago, and we literally... You guys saw us try to wrap uh, James's bumper in it. Oh yeah! I'm gonna throw in a clip right now of that. And it came out bad. James was telling me how much he misses the GTI and said he can't, he's so upset that he sold the GTI to get a Subaru. I'm just kidding, just trying to get him going. GTI sucks. <laughs> Dude, Euro cars are a hassle, look at this thing. This, 
Got a new motor in it. Now the turbo is bad. Isn't that just great? I just, I just love cars so much. All right, guys, let us do a little measuring, and then we will get the wrapping going, and you'll follow along with us. by far like the best wrap in my opinion because you can do stuff like this you can you can stretch out all the wrinkles to make it look like it's all flat and then you just basically squeegee it on like we tried Arlon and 3M doesn't compare does not compare at all That's, I mean even even on we used Avery on the trunk for the Audi yeah and it looks it's Are, so much easier to work with it stretches nice there's like I'm sure you'll see at one point if there's like a little bubble, you can literally just like press the bubble out and it'll flatten perfectly. So. That's amazing. I'll show them the trunk of the Audi too. So now I work at a window tint and graphics shop. So I basically wrap stuff, apply decals, somewhat learning how to window tint professionally. So I've learned a lot already. Just within the first two weeks of working here, I've learned all the things I did wrong, all the things I somewhat did right, and yeah, I'm just gonna apply what I've learned. See like this little bubble, I can just press down on my finger and it's gone. I love that. So Avery's one of the best you would say. Yeah. That's why when James said let's wrap the Subaru, I was like first, what brand is the wrap? Because if he was about to say it's like 3M or something, I was about to be like, ugh. <laughs> I think this blue on the Subi is going to look really good. I hope so. It's going to be so different. You see how it's like stretched out a little bit? A little bit of heat, and it's back to normal. That literally was like... Magic? Magic. Seriously. Um, it's been a while since he's uh, got this. Cob intake, just some Perrin covers. Parent strut tower brace, full turbo back exhaust by HKS, top heat shield, uh, access port with stage 2 tune, RCE black lowering springs, ESR wheels, these headlights, I think they're spider. I think the they are spider, yeah. The uh, C style headlights, and some PIA rally fog lights that are too bright to use while driving. <laughs> they're awesome though. And then rally ar armor mud flaps and. Yeah. Roof rack and the shift knob short throw shifter, right? Uh, yes, top short throw shifter. Yes. Dang, look how smooth that is. Already almost there on this fender. That was pretty quick, too. so hot out here guys we're taking this off and then we're gonna wrap it inside because it feels way better inside so far so good I'm gonna do the other bottom half of the fender piece this is the first one I did just so I can figure out how to do it there's a couple little things but that's in the paint I can't do anything about that so just pay no attention to that but I'm gonna wrap this piece here so this piece let me get the other piece to show you is done with one piece but there's this vent right here, so I have to like wrap all of this first, make a little cut around that, and then lay that in there. So this is this part right here that I'm gonna do. I've got this tacked down on the very edge right here, so when I heat it up, I'll be able to press it in a little bit more and then trim it after. So it's a lot more bendable now. And 
And sometimes your finger is your best tool. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. So we're almost done with this other piece. So what we're gonna do, since it's so hot outside, instead of wrapping the other fender, since we got these already off, we're gonna try and send it on these. And me and James believe in Jake. We think he can do it, no problem. Thank you, I believe myself, but no problem. Doing that with no problem. Might be a little hard, but we'll shmang. We're gonna give a shot at these. Boom! Let's do it. So we're doing the side skirt. We had two people, each holding each corner. We stretched it as much as we can and laid it on. I'm tacking the part in the middle down, so that way when I'm adjusting it, it doesn't completely come off. And I'm just gonna slowly get it as smooth as I can across without squeegeeing it down. And then do that with that side, and then we'll start squeegeeing and going around the, uh, all the contour bends. So here's where there's paint protection on it. We're not gonna take that off because one, it'll leave a lot of residue, the paint will be faded, and this is only going on for probably the winter. I don't know if James is gonna like it enough to keep it on after winter, but um, if he decides to take it off, the paint protection will still be there, and yeah. Yeah, because these side skirts get a lot of rock uh, chips and everything, if you can see from all of this right here. There's a lot of little pieces in the paint. And oh, there you go. Now you can kind of see them. Yeah. I'm not actually sure it's going to work. But like, you'll see when I go over with heat, parts that wrinkle up aren't all the way down. So that's some, cause sometimes in some light, it's not easy to see where you've squeegeed and where you haven't. So if you just go over a little with a little bit of heat, you'll see it wrinkle up a little bit and that's where you still have to squeegee down a bit. So glad it decided to rain. It feels so much better outside. Oh. All right, so you see this top part? Where like the emblem is, we are wrapping, or not, not where that emblem is, but yeah. above it. We're gonna wrap that part too. Oh, this whole part. Yep. Yes. Two pieces. <laughs> the trunk. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. More enthusiasm than that. Come on. Come on. Alright guys, we're gonna finish this trunk. Let's do it. Nice. After it just rained and then with it. Oh, you should use your 
humidity and everything, the lens keeps fogging up, so I apologize for that. But we are actually getting the rest of this trunk done, and then uh, it'll be another day to finish up the rest of the car. So it's coming out really good. We love this Bahama blue color. So I am going to cut it now because it's getting really dark, but it's exciting to start filming again. I am really hyped to get James' Subaru on the channel. And uh, we will have multiple videos of the Subaru and this wrap job. We all hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy.